Hey there, this is Ryan. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an invoice with custom branding similar to one you're seeing on this screen using an awesome free WordPress plugin. I've been using this for over a year now to charge consulting clients for freelance PPC work and it's worked amazing for both one-time and recurring payments. You'll need three different software set up for this to create a custom invoice. One is a WordPress website. The second is a WordPress plugin WP invoice, and the third is a Stripe account. If you are unfamiliar with what Stripe is, it's just a payment processor that will allow you to process payments and connect it to your WordPress site using that WordPress plugin mentioned before. You can also invoice directly from Stripe, and you can also do this through PayPal, as talked about in a different video. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave this as using the WordPress plugin because it makes a great design. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through setting this up so you can start professionally invoicing clients today, all of which is entirely for free. First step, you want to set up a Stripe account if you haven't already. This process is simple and free to do, so I won't go into much detail on it. Once you plugged in your information, just click submit and you'll be redirected to a page that is going to prompt you to set up or skip now. I'm just going to press skip for now and continue to activating my Skype account by first starting with a name. So this can just be the name of your company or you as a freelancer, doesn't really matter. And what we want to do is confirm our email address. So we'll press start here and then you can resend verification if you didn't get it. But if you go to your email, just press confirm and this will confirm our account once we log in with the email that we provided upon registration. I am not a robot. Okay, so that email is confirmed and we're good to go there. Now we just want to finish activating our account with some basic setup information here. So like our business address, our city, our town, our zip code, uh, our business phone number, what type of business we are, all that good stuff right there. I'm not going to go into detail about filling out this entire form here, but we'll jump to the bottom where you can see a description of your company name. So just put the description in and this is what the client is going to see on your invoices themselves. Then scrolling down some more, you'll see bank details here. So we just want to plug in our routing number and accounting number uh, appropriate to the one that we needed. And I just went ahead and confirmed everything there. There's a couple of other steps, but I didn't want to do more editing. So for this sake, it's all activated and ready to go. Uh, for the time being, that's good for Stripe. So what we want to do is jump over to our WordPress website and go to plugins. We're going to be adding the WP invoice plugin here. So activate that and install it on your WordPress installment. And once that's good to go, jump over to pages and we're going to create a page to host our invoices on. And so we'll add a new one here and you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to name this invoicing. doesn't really matter. And let's hit publish for this. Now what we want to do is jump over to WP invoice settings. And we're going to set up the initial settings for this plugin here. Um, you obviously want to put your business name up there. Uh, leave this or set it to invoicing. That's your page that you want to put it on and then change this to unified page template. And, and by the way, uh, so we'll change this to Stripe. By the way, I'm just showing you my settings here. I'm not gonna go into detail about everything. You can read into it, but for now, this is what I've got set up. Uh, client can't change. We can, you can choose to accept PayPal payments as well. So it can take two checkout, credit card, Stripe, uh, enter CASA, PayPal. You just need to set those up and connect them to the appropriate things. So if you click on the PayPal connection here, you got to plug in your username um, and uh, a couple other information here as well. But uh, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do PayPal setup since you can invoice directly from PayPal, PayPal and that's mentioned in a different video. Instead, let's jump down to Stripe and we'll pull that down. You can see all these different API key fields here so we got the the secret keys for the test and as well as the live these are two different modes that you can put your your plugin in so we can test it or it can be live and active I'll talk about what that means in a second here 
So jump over to your Stripe account and we're gonna grab those API keys. And you can find those in developers API keys. And this will lead you to these tokens. And there, as you can see, the publisher key and the secret key. And right now we're in test data, viewing test data, and we can switch that to live data. So you have four different keys, two are test and two are live. So right now we're on the test keys and these are the live keys. So test keys are simply just to test that the connection is working. Right now we're gonna take the test publishing key and plug that in in the right spot here. And I usually make this mistake because it's inverted. So you kinda you wanna put that down there and now input your other keys as well. I'm not gonna show this since I wanna leave that secret. So for now what we're gonna do is make a example invoice by putting in an email address. This would be the email of your client. And let's create new. And as you can see, it looks like pretty much any other WordPress page you would see. But instead, the difference between this is under the content space, you see this module that's now added. You can put in different line items for the different uh, features that you're offering. And right now, we're just going to set up some basic information here just so we can see it in real time. When you click save, it's going to bring you to this page here. And what this is showing is... Uh, different automated emails that will be sent out to the client if you choose to send them. Uh, they have pre-made templates, reminders, send receipt or new invoice and you can edit these as please. But otherwise you can just look at the invoice by clicking that link above and sending the link directly to them using the URL. Um, I prefer to do it this way. As you can see though, there's not really any design on this as of yet. And that is because we have to set up a few more settings on the WordPress invoicing plugin. So when you first go through it, it gives you the basic setup. Now we want to do some advanced setup. So go to WP invoice settings once more and you can see different options here. Uh, first right away, let's just put in a logo here and this is going to show up at the top. And of course our business name, business address, we want our business phone number, the email address, all that information plugged in correctly. Then as we scroll down, just click this box here and force HTTPS on invoicing pages if available on the server. This is based on uh, Stripe's protocol, so you definitely want to have HTTPS, uh, an SSL certificate. You can get away with not using it, but uh, just to be safe, you might want to have that on your site. And then go to the bottom and just press save all settings. And now go to the business process tab. And what we're going to do is make sure that the display is on invoicing and invoicing as well for that one as, as well. And replace HTML title with invoice, leave that on as default. And then I prefer to show my business address and quantity breakdowns as well. And then send email notifications, I check that. And the third one I'll also check as well. And you can do CRM if you're connected. Uh, change from, who is from, so Ryan Moran, my name, whatever your name is, this is the email that your client's gonna get on auto-responded email templates that you could choose to do if you wanted to. Uh, I usually don't use those, but anyways, let's save all those settings. And then jump to the payments tab up here. As you can see right now, it's on default PayPal. I think that kind of changed for some reason, not sure why, but just double check this and make sure it is on Stripe. If that is what you're using as a processor, you can also give them the option to choose PayPal as well. Um, but for now, we're just going over Stripe. And if you go to the email templates tab, these are all the pre-made templates. You can edit these as you please, as well as line items if you have specific services that you offer all the time. Um, and that's pretty much it. So what we want to do now is just go back to view all for the WP invoices, click on this one specifically, and we're going to click save just so we can see the, uh, the invoice. So we're going to click over back again. And as you can see, we got that design on this as well. Now the logo seems to be a little bit tiny, so I'd have to adjust the size of that. And you can also delete and add different information from this, such as the double title that you see at the top there. You can remove one of those. But uh, for the time being, let's just make a payment. And this is where the client would put in their information. And 
what you want to do for testing is go to stripe.com documents slash testing and use any one of these numbers as a testing number that they give you and then just use a random date in the future as well as a CVC number. So we're going to put that in a random CVC 131 a month. Uh, we can just do like uh, May 2022. Um, and then I'm going to hit process and this is a test right now since we have this in test mode So I'll show you that real quick, but patientgrowth.com says successfully paid. Thank you And then it's going to redirect you to this page It's going to show you the invoice history when it was created This is like the receipt for the invoice and this payment is going to go through your stripe account and then to be deposited into your TD bank so going back here let's just quickly look at this you can look at like filters this is the main page where you're gonna see all your information in terms of invoices past and present whether they're paid or not and this will show you the history of that invoice in particular now there's also additional settings on the side here advanced settings and features um, and I want to go over a couple of these specifically recurring bills so you can set up recurring subscriptions so let's just do that by uh, creating a new one. And as you type in a user's name that you've already made an invoice for, it automatically does it. So let's just click recurring here. And once you click recurring, you can do this for uh, PayPal subscriptions to check out authorize.net or Stripe. For now, we're just doing this for Stripe. So we're gonna set that interval for a month. Let's say we're doing a monthly retainer and just saying every one month, whenever it was paid a month later, recharge their, their uh, their card another thing that you can do is add a, dis a discount here so click discount amount discount and you can just add whatever amount that is and why you're discounting it and then let me just show you with a uh, maybe like another outline item here it shows you the actual balance is 600 so that's a pretty cool feature of course down here you can change the payment methods as well as their information and yeah that's pretty much it uh, one last thing, if you jump over to Stripe, Stripe is going to be where you are refunding as well as ending subscriptions. So if you have someone on a recurring, you go to billing and subscriptions and you'll see those subscriptions here and when they're going to be rebuilt and you'll have the option to cancel that and even to refund it. And you can do the same thing with one off uh, payments through the invoices tab here you can just refund that and it will pull it from your bank account and send it back into theirs so that's awesome but one last thing we got to do is jump back over to wp invoice go to payments go to default payment and go to stripe here and what we want to do is change the mode to live because we had it in test mode to allow us to test the connection without spending any sort of money and this will allow us to just make sure that's working correctly. And now we just want to change that to live and we're good to go. Now that's it for the video guys. Hopefully that gave you a lot of info as fast and concise as possible. Um, I might have moved a little bit too fast. Just let me know in the comments below if I did. If you have any questions, uh, like this video if you found it helpful. If you have started invoicing people after this, 14 minutes I think, or 13, yeah, 14 minutes of video. And uh, like, subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.